Ricardo. No, if you do a pause, you win. Okay, then let's finish the last few comments and we don't do pause. Uh, we are right. right. Okay, topographic. Uh, how many of you know it? Most of you? No? Okay, good. Uh, now I don't have my slide, but we can find it. Uh, you have this manual. On yes, the it's on the ah, Yes. Okay, just to clarify a few things, okay? So uh, let's go for the classification. For the classification at 10 plus, here you find that if you open the map number uh, the TC9, you will find some flag. Okay? So number 10 means planar, planar sign. You, you don't have to write it. I will send you the manual. You can access now, right now, to this manual, so it's fine. But just to uh, answer to this question. Uh, 20 is convex planar, 30 is concave planar, 40 is planar concave, uh, convex, and so on. When we go, instead, to the three class classification, you will have 15 for the con concave, 25 for the planar, and 35 for the convex. Okay? This is what they provide. And now, we go to the screen. So uh, it's just uh, an index uh, that uh, is the ratio between the area and the slope. Then you have also, uh, so for each pixel, you have the total contributing area. Then for each pixel, you have the slope. And then it computes the ratio. Then you can also see from the formula that there is a B, which is a uh, it's expressed by, uh, it has been created before then the raster map. It, is, it has been created when uh, the computation uh, were made by contour line. You know? So it expressed this ratio by units of contour line. B is this, uh, it stands there for this reason. So it accounts for the fact that uh, it's um, uh, per units of contour line, but, but on a raster map this is not a problem because it just depends on the resolution of your raster. Uh, so uh, uh, it is the area over slope at the end, and then you take the logarithm. Uh, what what it um, what it uh, tells you? Uh, it gives you an indication uh, to the pixel that tends to saturate faster, for example. In fact, when, when uh, uh, let's compute this, and then we, we will see how it looks like, and then we can comment on the value. So to compute the topographic index, because it's the ratio more or less of uh, TCA and slope, what we need is to provide it the, the total contributing area, and to provide it the slope, and then it will take care of all the rest. And then we will write the output map, and the output map will be Cavone underscore topographic index. Clear? Up to now. We know the input, we write the output.
So you can see that the di, di value of the topographic index are inside the river basin, okay? Uh, why, in your opinion, how it is defined? It is defined as the ratio between area, total contributing area, and mm, the slope. This slope. So the pixel inside the basins tends to have a very high total contributing area, no? Because of change. Uh, whereas the low value are up in the uh, hills. In fact, you, you can almost see the river network from this. Moment. But in any case, the intermediate value tells you the uh, pixel that tends, tends to saturate before. Okay. So higher value of uh, uh, topographic index uh, show you better uh, the pixel that tends to get uh, more water in steady state condition. So it's a direction, direct relation between index, topograph index, and saturation. And, and more tendency to saturation. Uh, the tendency to, uh, so if the, how prone the pixel is to be saturated. But this holds only in very, very simple hydrological hypothesis of the steady state and so on. But for example, there are uh, famous uh, hills of stability models, such as Charleston, that are based on the concept of the topographic. But those hills of stability models has a very simplified hydrological uh, hypothesis, so that the uh, water table uh, is parallel to the, to the surface and the bottom surface, and then the uh, hydrology is uh, stationary, so there is no variation in time, so are very simplified years of stability. And those are based on uh, the topographic index. And uh, <coughs> for same basin, same procedure, I, uh, my model gives me range between 0 0.3 to 15. Yours are giving 1 to 9 almost, why? Yes, because uh, it means that the slope of my basins is different than the slope of your basin. We, we, are, we, are, we are working on the same, no? Ah, no, it's the same? Same, no. yeah. Okay, so which, which value it is? I don't know others, but mine is 0 0.3 to 15, the carbon basin. Ah, yes. probably it's some... Uh, okay, let me see. Mine too is the same. What is your range? Yeah. Sometimes it's uh, zero point six, two four two. Uh, 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 still different. Represent the, the number in a different way. Yeah, because probably it's due to the settings that you have on the QGIS like this. Uh, if you take the mean max of the map, so uh, if you take a cumulative count, I don't, I don't really know. Yeah, yeah, minimum yeah, maximum. Yeah. And even is different with uh, him. Yeah, so little bit, but still. Maybe it's also the version of this. I open another program and I have uh, two from mm -hmm. 0 0.3 to 15. So you all are the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You see, this is the histogram of my raster map, uh -huh. uh, and it varies between uh, very close to zero to very close to 15. Uh -huh. Can you open this for you? Because uh, it's the way in which we decide to assign, to decide to plot the table. For example, probably I'm not plotting between min and max, but I'm plotting between certain quantiles. Whereas you are plotting between the max. Yeah. This should be identical. 
Uh, okay, let's do it all together. If you click, if you double click on uh, Kavone and then you click on histogram, you will find it. This should be the same. But minimum maximum is the amount that your model calculating and giving to the GIS no, no, no. just be showing us what is the result of your model. Uh, can you repeat the question? I, I'm telling you what the model is calculating and giving minimum maximum. GIS just showing the result. Yes, yes, not exactly. changing the minimum maximum. Okay. Uh, that minimum maximum is. My minimum and my maximum is here. You can see it from here. And uh, is it I identical to what you get uh, from your histogram? No? Is it very close? Yeah, it's in this case, it's close. Yes, but this value here, I think you can decide. I think yes. it's dependent on the GIS, but I am not sure. No. The important thing is that the histogram is the same. Yes. You see, if I say min max, uh, I found 1.05 and uh, 9.5, but my maximum is uh, very close to 14. Yeah, and it's bigger than 14. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will do. I will do. We are. Uh, we are here. Eighteen scale factor. Uh, and then we we will compute the scale distance. And then the net attribute builder and then the net numbering, but I think we will have a break now. Yeah. Yes, it should be